G'day gang, so if you think things are grim now, just wait until you see the panic that comes, hang on, that comes from um, the schools closing down on the weekend. It's getting hectic out there. I had a woman push me at the, um, at the meat shop today and I turned around and said, what are you doing? And she goes, oh, sorry. It's, um, it's getting hectic. So the schools are almost definitely going to close down this weekend. I've already pulled my daughter out of school. I rang them this morning. I said to them, um, she's not coming back and um, they were fine with it. I said, look, the schools are probably gonna close this weekend anyway. And, and the person from my daughter's school said, yeah, I think you're right. So they know schools are definitely closing. Um, sorry, I've just got messages popping up on the screen. Um, so, Make whatever preparations you need to. Look for people in Perth if you're struggling to get meat at the big supermarkets. Um, go to your wholesalers. I've just been down to Malaga and got a heap of meat. Um, you've got the meat shed, you've got McLaughlin's, you've got Avon Valley. They still all have meat. They've got mince, um, they've got sausages, they've got chicken. Um, get in there. Um, I spoke to the guy at the meat shed for a good 10 minutes and um, you know, he said um, they'll still have beef. Um, they, he said they will not run out of beef, but chicken might be a bit hard because um, Ingham has told them to get stuff basically and said that they're only going to supply coals and woolies. So start stocking up where you can. Don't panic too much. Um, there's still plenty of wholesale butchers out there that have got a good supply line, that have got good meat coming in. And I think once everyone gets enough to sort of feel safe it'll calm down again and the supply will go back to normal so don't panic too much you know try and get as much as you can though get um you know if you've got freezer space get a month worth of meat um you know get, get don't just stock up on baked beans you're not going to be able to eat them for bloody you know a month or two on end um you know just get all the stuff that you normally get um, you know, I've still got a couple of bags of snakes alive for the kids. I've got, you know, um, chip and dips that they like. Um, up and goes are a good one. You don't need to refrigerate them. Um, you know, just, just get all your normal stuff, yeah? Just get a bit extra. You're going to go through it. You don't want to get it and then put it in a tub and then forget about it and let it go off. So try and get a shelf system set up where you can take from the front and replace at the back so you're constantly rotating your stock and um, it's stuff you're going to use anyway you know but anyone with the financial means get a little bit extra I think at the end of this month everyone's getting some $700 payment from the government highly doubt we will we don't get any anything family tax benefit or anything like that so that's just from not vaccinating but look get what you can stay calm you know don't start turning on each other whatever we do okay there's plenty of growers in australia we'll um we'll, we'll get through this all right some supply chains will break down but um you know we've got plenty of meat supply in australia so calm down it's just that it's selling out quickly they're struggling to get it to to the market to the shops but if you get to a meat wholesaler in the morning, they will have full stock, so just relax, go get what you can, be prepared for the schools to shut down, they are definitely shutting down. Um, if we're lucky, they may run sort of a skeleton crew where they'll have a classroom or two open for those who have nowhere for their kids to go and who, um, you know, don't have a job where they can get time off. But for the most part, the schools will definitely tell anyone who has the means to keep the kids home. So that's the latest. You know, try and relax. It's, it's not the end of the world yet. Um, you know, be wary of this vaccine that they're going to come out with. I'm not going to tell anyone not to vaccinate. But look, at the end of the day, 4,000 people died of influenza last year in Australia. And... Um, you know, as far as I know, I think we've still only got five deaths, three of them at the same nursing home, all of them well and truly senior in years. So, you know, don't don't worry too much for your kids. Kids are resilient. They've got a fairly decent immune system. Um, 
just um, try and take it easy. Be prepared for a prolonged stay indoors. And um, we'll just have to see where this goes, all right? Anyone, when the school's shut down, anyone who can, go past your local school that your kids go to, have a look during the day and in the evening, and tell me if you see any crews there at all, please. Um, they might try and roll the 5G tech out under the disguise of um, cleaning crews going in there. So everyone keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on teams working on street poles and things like that. I want to see if they're trying to sneak this tech in while everyone's locked away. Take it easy, gang.